Tip number two is all about the shoelaces. So I have two color shoelaces that I use. It doesn't matter what color you use on the left, I'm using a blue, but on the right, it's kind of important to use a white. And the reason for that is it makes the verbal cues rhyme. So for instance, white over blue, blue under white, pinch, pinch, pull tight. And all I did was take two different color shoelaces, tie them together before lacing them up. So another tip is, about shoelaces is get the flat ones instead of the round shoelaces. That's because the round shoelaces become um, untied much quicker than the flat shoelaces. Also having two shoelaces tied together provides extra length, which is helpful when learning how to tie a shoe. Now you may notice on these shoelaces, I have made a couple of marks. I used a washable marker and I put a red dot close to the shoe itself and then another red dot about halfway down the lace. And the reason for this is to help the kid uh, learn how to do a rabbit ear. So if I say create a rabbit ear, sometimes the students don't know what I'm talking about. But I can say put the two red dots together and that forms a rabbit ear.